Hi guys. Hello guys. Welcome back everyone to Relationship Detox with yeah. Sam and Olga. We hope you guys are all doing well. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to dive right into it. Uh, for this video, we're going to talk about mm -hmm. or um, emphasize mm -hmm. the importance of yeah. communicating with your partner. Yeah. Um, in relation to the video that we did last week, uh, yeah. that was about assumptions and how to just get rid of assumptions, mm -hmm. um, you know, between you and your partner. Yeah. Um, but we just want to focus on the communication part a little bit more. Yeah. And also, um, after we made the video uh, last week, mm -hmm. we were thinking about it afterwards yeah. and we realized that it's not really the assumptions per se mm -hmm. that you need to get rid of because we realize that it's in human nature, nature. to yeah. subconsciously make assumptions about people or situations yeah. um, it's quite normal I think mm -hmm. it's just a way of maybe protecting yourself yeah. from from hurt based on something that you have went you, know, you went through yeah. in the past um, but what we really want to stress here is that the importance here is not to act on those assumptions yeah. right because the way I see it is if you have an assumption about a person for example like if mm -hmm. I assume something about him without yeah. actual evidence right to kind of back that yeah. up or you know uh, without it being a fact mm -hmm. then I basically put him into a box with the label on it that mm -hmm. the label is what I assume that he yeah. is or he mm -hmm. falls under yeah. and the danger in that is that you start treating them or I would start treating him based on the label exactly. or the box that I have put him yep. in and that you know as much as the box is closed because mm -hmm. that is where I have put him in it opens up a whole can of worms when it comes to our relationship exactly. <clears throat> right and to avoid that you need to open that box take out that assumption mm -hmm. or that label that you put on it and just attack it and talk about it right yeah. so that you can have a relationship that is open and flowing in the exactly. right direction yeah and um, communication yeah. is the key mm -hmm. for that and yeah. we just want to um, emphasize that importance mm -hmm. with a few of our own examples exactly yeah so yeah to get in or jump into the examples uh, yeah i just want to reiterate again that mm -hmm. it is in our human nature obviously to um, um, pull back or protect yourself not to get hurt again mm -hmm. so uh, based on this assumption uh, topic or discussion that we're about to have is basically not acting on those assumptions yes. but get a, a full proof before you you know make any um, um, uh, any you pronounce any judgment or you mm. act on, on, on that yeah now why am I saying that because um, I quite remember when I uh, met uh, my wife uh, Olga um, I, I really liked her like we you know I liked her energy everything was perfect for me I really liked it so we, we became friends you know and uh, she invited me not quite long after we met she invited me to come to their house you know over to their house to meet her parents mm -hmm. and I was excited I said oh yeah sure I will you know all that stuff but then when I <laughs> got back home I started pondering over that over that uh, particular invitation and why was I pondering over that? Because um, based on my past experiences, I, I noticed a pattern in, in, in um, um, what do you call it? Uh, 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 Behavior? Behaviors, especially being, you know, looked by just uh, the fact that culturally we are different. We different are not culture, of the yeah. same race. So that actually kicked in you know and basically put some sort of um, uh, not fear but uh, it was a uh, it was it was like a, a not sure type of instincts that I was having whether you know is it is it the right time to go there or not so that, you know I wasn't I wasn't really okay with that so what I was doing in that process was actually assuming and also acting on them Mm -hmm. acting on everything that i was assuming would happen yeah. negatively and based on that i acted on that and yes. what was my action to that was the fact that i had to boycott that invitation yeah. i didn't go he didn't come the first time yeah yeah and i was really disappointed yeah. and but i kept like picking at him and picking at him yeah. like I mean like it was important to me for you to come yeah. and meet my parents because I had no idea that he was having those kinds of assumptions yes. right that that he was gonna be 
treated a certain way because he's a different race or a different exactly, color or whatever, yeah. right? I had no idea. So, um, you know, mm -hmm. I just kept emphasizing my invitation to him. Exactly, you know, just come, yeah. Just come. It's you know, true. I mean, and... I mean, naturally, yeah. I wasn't sure I was, I was going to be received, you know? Yeah. So I or wanted. How, how you were going to be received. Or how yeah. even. Because, yeah. So I wanted to be really sure. But how, how are you going to be sure until you get there? Right. So, <laughs> but that part wasn't. No, that, that wasn't part of my. Uh, what do you call it like uh, just thinking about or pondering over whether to go or not you know at that time I wasn't thinking about all that stuff I was just you know thinking about the negatives of yeah. me, as, me as, going assume, there assuming, assuming that it was going to be the same it was going to be the same yeah, yeah. so the same in terms of if, uh, like when you've been yeah. treated a certain way, a certain way. before yeah. he was kind of assuming it was going to be the same Yeah. so of course I didn't want to go and um, mm -hmm. you know be labeled or be you know uh put in a box so i rejected it i didn't go but i realized that yeah she wasn't uh happy at all about about that <laughs> so that was actually another in indication that gave me the 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 fact that um hey this lady is really serious about sure. this invitation so you better get your act together and and just go and just yeah. go so another invitation was placed <laughs> on me and and this time i had to honor honor that and i was happy she she yeah she gave me that second invitation mm. so this time i just i did obviously i did uh, something different which was not to act on those assumptions mm. it came again all those thinkings were going on in my head everything but i i made a decision a, a conscious decision not to think about those those things and just go as who I am mm -hmm. you know and and I went and again it was surprisingly it was totally the opposite of whatever I was thinking yeah and this is what I'm saying you know so if I had again acted on that or even had brought it up to her mm -hmm. and started this whole unnecessary type of you know stereotypes and mm -hmm talking yeah. basically yeah. nonsense it would have even ruined our friendship and everything it could else have. yeah it could have yeah you know so <clears throat> this is what we we, we talk about yeah. not because, acting on yeah exactly on, on, on those assumptions I, yeah. I know my parents you yeah. don't know my parents right yeah. so why would you assume blah 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 right exactly so him, yeah. if he would have kept it off based on his assumptions it would have i guess eventually created some yeah. type of because yeah yeah some type of uh relationship that we would yeah you know that we wouldn't want to have yeah, right exactly and that's why it's important um to so, just get over yourself when it comes to exactly that. so i i opened up you know i was myself mm -hmm. and i got the wonderful reception mm -hmm. it was i would i would say it was an exceptional reception it was even mm -hmm. beyond what i was expecting yeah. so that that actually blew you know parents, everything out of my parents what I had loved here, him, like you know? especially my dad. Yeah. I, I remember at that time, I was dating someone else. Yeah. We were just friends back then. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, my boyfriend at the time, my dad couldn't stand him at all. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was also black. And it was yeah, it was also so, black. So there you go. But that's not that's not why he couldn't stand. <laughs> yeah. They had t completely different reasons. But um, then after he met Sam, and we, they had we had such a yeah. great time when he came for a visit, and after he left. The very first thing my dad said yeah. as soon as the door closed behind him was, Why can't you date him? Why do you have to date that? Whatever he called, yeah. <laughs> he called him, right? And that is how much they fell yeah. in love with him, right? Yeah. So it was, it was, it was exactly it was a the very, opposite of what he was thinking. It was a wonderful reception, like I said. Yeah. <laughs> so that, you know, birthed our um, friendship and mm. everything else that today you see us together right. as married couples. That actually, you know, gave that push so it, it's, it was very important if right. i had acted on it we wouldn't be right. sitting could, today could, yeah, yeah for sure or we it would have taken longer oh anyway. it would have taken longer but then on another, you know. uh, in another example uh when we were together mm -hmm. um it's uh, it hasn't been long for maybe i don't know a few months mm -hmm. until um life started happening yeah and um yeah, shit was starting to hit the fan. Strug you know? Struggles, struggles, yeah. you know, type of yeah. uh, type of uh, situation. Like, uh, yeah, financial struggles. Yeah. And um, my parents were really nervous about that, so they kept, yeah. you know, 
pressuring us or me, right? Yeah. Um, from in, in the background, basically. You know, what are you guys doing? Like, get your sh act together, act whatever, together, right? Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, anyway, this is even, you keep talking about that story <laughs> because this is from his All point right, of view. All right, so, so now, yeah. <laughs> It, so there was a pressure coming from her parents, right? Yeah. But not to me, but uh, to her. However, I was taking the same heat or pressure mm -hmm. because that's you know that's my girlfriend at the time, and and we and were that, living together. Yeah. So. so the pressure was, you know, constant. But the parents didn't know why. They didn't know the full story of why we are struggling financially. Mm -hmm. So. Um, uh -huh. So they were assuming as, we were yes. just. Like they, I, will, I don't want to say stupid, but they, they just <laughs> they just assumed we didn't know what we were doing, yeah. and um, we just kind of uh, ran around with yeah. headless chickens, not knowing what what, what, we what doing? we're doing, yeah. Um, yeah. because they didn't know what was going on. Yeah, it's just that at the time, at the it time, was better yeah. for them to rather not stay in stay that out of yeah. not knowing than to really know what's going yeah. on. Um, but again, because they uh, they they treated us based on the assumptions they made, it yeah. was causing a lot of um, distress and yeah. a lot of. Um, you know arguments and stuff like mm -hmm. that like a lot of yeah. negative energy because they couldn't just leave it be right and yeah. just say okay yeah. these are just assumptions mm -hmm. we don't know what's happening mm -hmm. let's just be supportive right yeah. but they were so um i guess afraid yeah. of what could happen, happen. to us yep. or what was happening to yep. us that they, they just couldn't help it but to 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 act as or to act in 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 that manner as if what they were assuming in their heads was yeah. already was playing out and exactly was so, happening. so again yeah. so on yeah on that level they assume on us and they didn't <clears throat> quite you know uh get into why yeah but actually started acting on on on, the on worst, it like the worst case like, scenario yeah, already happened. happened and they were yeah. acting on that part so it, it even became like it was mm -hmm. like i was i was really 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 down like yeah because you know i couldn't believe that was happening you know yeah. so it went on quite uh, some time and until it got to the point where i couldn't take it anymore because mm -hmm. the pressure was way too much mm -hmm. so again based on past experiences and relationship i'm talking from my own um normally you know uh, the ladies or women tend to listen to their peers and parents and you know yeah. stuff like that o over their boyfriend especially yeah. when there is so that sort of struggles and yeah. or anything that is not going smoothly you right. know so i was you know i went ahead of you know this whole uh, uh, thing going on this whole fiasco thing going on to let her know that hey look you know what maybe it would be better for you to just go live with your parents and mm -hmm. uh, leave me alone to sort, sort out my my stuff and then mm -hmm. when everything is all rosy you can come back <laughs> and she did not like it at all one oh. bit. she was so offended i was offended by that she was so offended by by because what i just I said i was offended in terms of i can't believe that you wouldn't want me to yeah. be part of your struggles yeah. and also at the same time be part of the solution yeah you know that so to me i'm mm -hmm. like oh my goodness what does he not love yeah. me anymore me with my you know 19 year old naive mind that's exactly. what i was thinking but the whole point is he didn't just assume yeah. that i was gonna be leaning towards my parents mm -hmm. and give in to the pressure yeah and just leave him on his own like other women have done in, done, in the yeah. past mm -hmm. he didn't he came out and he talked about it yeah i was gonna even touch on that yeah, yeah he talked about it yeah. and the response that he got from me was basically what solidified our mm -hmm. commitment yeah. from that moment on mm -hmm. because i said no way yeah. like no way am i going anywhere yeah. you know because this is i would never even think of that that's why i was surprised that he she even was... suggested that because i would never think of just leaving him to struggle yeah. on his own while i'm nice and cozy yeah. you know with three meals a day at my parents house you know i she... couldn't even fathom that she couldn't believe i that those those words came out of my mouth yeah <laughs> but you see the, again this is what i did the mistake i did i also mm -hmm. acted on assumption instead of going up to her and say discuss the whole situation mm -hmm. and telling her how i feel or putting out yeah. my feelings out there i also assumed that this is what she was going to do mm -hmm. and well <laughs> on, the, on the one hand you <laughs> acted on your assumptions because you asked me to go kind of that's what i mean that i acted on my, yeah. uh, you know in in yep. 
you know, assuming again, the, yeah. assuming that uh, history was going to repeat, repeat itself, itself yeah. right? So he was gonna, he wanted to protect his mm -hmm. feelings by yeah. proactively telling me to just get out kind yeah, of exactly. thing you know yeah yes <laughs> because he was yeah. already going through so much and then i was going through so if, much if yeah. i was going to just leave him then it might as well be now you know that yeah. would just add to his frustrations and to his emotion yeah right? so the it's better distress for me at my thinking at that time yes. it was better for her to actually you know but so in that, Exit, in that, in that sense, way you acted on yeah. your assumptions but on the other hand you still brought I came back. something out yeah you mm -hmm. brought out you, you you came if if you if you wouldn't have also brought out yeah. and asked me to go to live with my parents we wouldn't have had that the discussion yeah. the conversation that we had yeah. and i wouldn't have the chance to, to tell him that this is my stand on this yeah. you know that I, I i don't even want to go yeah. back I'm, i i want you to to mm -hmm. want me around and yeah. stuff like that right um so that that's the communication part, part that we're yeah. talking about mm -hmm. it, it came out and we talked about it and it was and my response to mm -hmm. him was completely the opposite Upset of what of, he assumed yeah. which blew me away too yeah yeah it blew me away because i never expected I, sh I would get that kind of response <laughs> or response from her yes. I, I never never so it also blew me away yeah. and also uh made me kind of like you know take a step back mm -hmm. to reanalyze this whole relationship thing that i am with with her yeah. and also um see how important you know she takes me like um w how i mean to her how much you mean how to much me. yeah. you know yeah. I, I, I really mean to her yeah so and, and that your your happiness is really also yeah my happiness basically. so it kind of opened up yeah. even more so that i was very very happy <laughs> that mm -hmm. this whole situation played mm -hmm. out but right. you see this is um very important to not to act on assumptions yeah so. now so that leads to our next mm -hmm. um uh, yeah so point. yeah another big part of communication yeah. is also not to you have to try not to be always thinking for your partner yeah. they have their own brains their mm -hmm. own head yeah. you cannot you know because it's kind of like you had if you take over their basically their thought process mm -hmm. and you take that away from them yeah that is not really a relationship that mm -hmm. is ownership is what exactly. that is right yeah. and that can on, on in, in the long term it can never go well because people are meant yeah. to be free mm -hmm. you can be free and still be committed yeah. right just because you have a like i don't own him mm -hmm. and he doesn't own me we yeah. don't own each other's yeah. thoughts and we do not um try to um what's the word influence, influence. how we think yeah. based on our own selfish type of interests or insecurities exactly. or, or to make up for our insecurities yeah big big part of that and yeah. also to never take your partner for granted yeah and exactly. um, that's the most important yeah and yeah. it's you know you would think it's um, big big things mm -hmm. but it's everyday little stuff yeah. little things yeah. that when they pile up they become yeah. big things yeah. that lead yeah. to even bigger things you mm -hmm. know and an example for that would be um, I remember at one point too, like we've mm -hmm. already been together for a long time and we've had um, our first son already. Mm -hmm. So, um, but again, you know, we were still going through struggles <clears throat> and, you know, for Sam, especially looking, always looking for solutions, you know, to get yeah. out of whatever situation that he wasn't happy with. Mm -hmm. um, and that took away a lot of his attention towards me. Right. And um, I remember at one point, um, yeah, we didn't have, uh, we didn't make love a lot, and that was affecting me. Mm -hmm. um, and we discussed that one time in the car on our way home after visiting my parents. Mm -hmm. And I remember you were saying that, um, ah, look, it's, uh, I mean, you're my wife or or my girlfriend, whatever. We're living together. I mean, what is sex? Sex is nothing. You know, it's like we we, we sleep and together, wake up together, everything. So sex is nothing. And I'm like. <laughs> And I said to him, do you know that you are taking me for granted if you talk like this and if you think like this? <laughs> he, like, because I guess he also didn't yeah. understand that, that that was important to me. Yeah. Um, assuming that I felt about it the same way he felt about it. But yeah. no, it wasn't like that. So I said, no, you cannot do that. Because just because, you know, this is what it is. It wouldn't have happened to us, but maybe in a different mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah. You know, you neglect a person on that level mm -hmm. for a long time and then eventually that person is going to snap and they're going to look for that part somewhere yeah. else right so yeah. and this is how this is how the little things 
turn into big into things big thing, because yeah. then you are dealing with potentially mm -hmm. um, adultery, yeah. all right? But adultery in itself is not is not the the, the problem. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not the cause. It's a symptom, the symptom yeah. right? And it starts with little things like that. So what I did was I made sure that I told him that look, yeah. you cannot look at it that way. Don't take me for granted because mm -hmm. I don't want to have to go and look for that affection elsewhere. Exactly. I want it yeah. from you, and mm -hmm. you have to, and that has to be important to you, Absolutely. right? Yeah. But the point is, we talked about, about it. it. Yeah. It came out. We didn't hold back, right? Mm -hmm. And that was the first and only time we have ever had that conversation because after that we knew where we stand, and mm -hmm. it wasn't necessary, you yeah. know. And so that was just, yeah, that was that, right? <clears throat> so yeah, that exactly. I I had no clue if she hadn't brought it out. Yeah. I I because I was way focused on what was going on at the mm -hmm. time and, and, yeah. and in my life and I wanted to straighten up things so I wasn't really but not knowing mm -hmm. focusing on that but neglecting yeah. another important part yeah. or piece of and I always tell him yeah. that I, I admire him for always trying to elevate our family to yeah. the highest levels that we can possibly get to but at the same time what mm -hmm. makes me happy the most yeah that you don't do while you are looking for all these heights yeah. while you are climbing up to all yeah. of these heights and that that is kind of negating mm -hmm. the whole point yeah right because i don't want to start being happy once we have reached a certain place in yeah. our lives yeah. which we might not even reach there you don't know what's going to happen yeah. right you can plan all you want but at the end of the Stop. day a lot of stuff is out of your hands yeah. right and so i want to also be able to enjoy the journey and be happy all the while yeah. right so again and we needed to talk about this yeah. and um and we did yeah so <clears throat> yeah communication yeah. was was became big in our relationship and it, it still is yes because uh we never take that for granted every yeah. little thing mm -hmm. i you can she can uh, attest to that yeah. i always make sure i check on you yeah, know we with check her. on each other yeah and like hey yeah, because we even if i assume that that is what you know she uh, or she, yeah. under, she understands everything that I'm doing or mm -hmm. uh, she knows what we, we are about to do or what we need, needed to do I right. still check to make yes. sure hey been, are you on the same page yeah, I, and there's yeah. been many times where I'm on the same page yeah. but I think we can tweak certain things yes. a little bit right? yeah. and it doesn't matter it, it, yeah. it applies to any uh, situation yeah. in, in life like anything mm -hmm. um, so yeah I think we are very good at we are, we an are. analyzing yeah. little things that can potentially become big things if not addressed. If not addressed. And, I, and yeah. I do really think that we, yeah. we have become very good at it. And um, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's important that if you have that quality yeah. to, to, to really um, mm -hmm. express it yeah. and, and live that. And I think also the reason why mm -hmm. our communication is also that good. Yeah. Um, it kind of goes back to how you pick your partner yeah. because the things that are important to him in a partner those exact same things are also important, important to me yeah. personally right so a little bit of compa compatibility the, right there yeah. exactly but uh, like i said if you if you if you want if you want the right person you have to know how to pick them right and mm -hmm. that's just what, <laughs> that's just kind of yeah. what it is right <laughs> because for example he um what what he noticed about me when we first met was how i dressed mm -hmm. so he really uh for him it's really important yeah. how you kind of present yourself exactly um yeah. and that's also very important to me personally mm -hmm. so um when i get myself ready mm -hmm. dressed up to go out or whatever like even me i like dressing up even just going grocery shopping yeah. you know because that's just me I'm, I'm i've always been that way yeah and he also happens to like that yeah. in women and also in yeah. me right yeah. so the point is if i do that mm -hmm. I, I i don't just do it for him i also do, do it for, for myself yeah right so um there's that so we can be open about yeah. stuff like that yeah you know and, and a lot more things yeah. and a lot more things yeah, yeah. i but think that's about it yeah, I think oh, look, we've oh, rented on wow. and on and on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this content. Uh, please do put your comments down below. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Exactly. Uh, um, if you have any questions for us, uh, yeah. please do uh, post mm -hmm. them. We love um, addressing you guys' questions. Yeah. It gives us lots and lots of topics. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again either next week or later on this week on relationship detox. Detox. That's right. All right. Ciao for now. Bye.